mother. After all, they say children learn about life at their mother's knee. Well, our mother has had six children sitting at her knee at various times throughout her life. And we want to show you, Mama, that we have been paying very careful attention to everything you've taught us all these years. <laughs> now, for those of you who didn't have the advantage of sitting at my mother's knee, we're going to give you a crash course. It's called The World According to Mama. Now, Esther and I will play the role of Mama. Our four brothers will play her children, which shouldn't be all that hard since they are her children. And I will introduce you. This is Dean and David and Carol and baby Brad. <laughs> so, so here we go, the world according to Mama. to me. 
me my food. <laughs> now, one of Mama's all-time favorite pastimes is watching basketball on television. This is Mama on basketball. Ma, how's your favorite team, the Celtics, doing? Since Larry Bird left, I don't watch them like I used to. I love Larry Bird. <laughs> He's awfully homely. <laughs> sure, can play basketball. <laughs> Aren't there any new players you like? What about the guy who dyes his hair all those different colors? Oh, you mean that Dennis Rodman? <laughs> he plays for those Chicago Bulls. He's crazy looking and crazy acting. I don't like him. And I think he's mean. <laughs> Those darn bulls, you can't beat him anyway. <laughs> now something else Mom loves to do is go to watch her grandsons and granddaughters and sons play basketball. Now, Mama is known for a couple of behavior patterns at her basketball games. This is Mama cheering at a basketball game when her team is about to make a foul shot.
the next scene is uh, Christmas Day, and Mama, because she has so many kids, gets so many presents, many more than any of the rest of us. And it takes her forever to open her presents. So this is Mama at Christmas opening her Christmas presents. <coughs> Look at this lovely wrapping paper. Isn't it lovely? Come on, Mark. Just open your presents. <laughs> I'm not going to hurry. I don't want to tear the paper. It's okay. You don't have to save it. But it's so pretty. I hate to waste it. I'm going to use it again next year. You don't have to save the bows next year either, Mark. They don't stick twice. <laughs> but they're so pretty. I don't care what you say. I'm still keeping it. Expect you will. Now, Mama um, is also well known for the beautiful quilts that she makes. However, Mama is also very modest. So this is Mama on her quilts. That's a beautiful quilt you made, Ma. Oh, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I don't think the colors are really great. <laughs> don't look too closely. I didn't do a very good job. Some of the blocks don't line up exactly. No one would ever know this. Well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> and now this is Mama, again modestly, on her baked beans. Oh. Ah, these beans are delicious as usual. I don't know. Do you think it's sweet enough? Maybe I cooked them a bit too long. I like them soupy, though. <laughs> Do you think they're kind of dry? They're not my best. <laughs> And now, Mama on her donuts. Oh. Ma, these donuts are delicious. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have good luck with them this time. I think they soak fat. <laughs> they fine to me. They're not as good as usual. Here, have another one. <laughs> Mama on the demon alcohol. Is this mine too? <laughs> I was say, Why don't you? <laughs> Ma, do you know what tastes good right now? Gin and tonic. Don't come to me for your gin and tonic. Are you all out of gin again? <laughs> you know I don't have that stuff in my house. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't Grandpa used to take a little mint every now and again? Well, maybe he had a little bottle of brandy when he had a cold, but that was it. We kids never touched it, and Mama never had anything to do with it. <laughs> so you don't have a little splash hidden somewhere? <laughs> you have to go down to the tavern if you want that stuff, or you won't find it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> This is Mama on her children's names. So, Ma, have you got a copy of all of Evelyn's books now? Yes, they're lovely. But I hate the way she calls herself Evelyn. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? <laughs> her name is Evelyn. I can't get used to this Evelyn business. <laughs> well, if that's what she likes to call herself, I guess there's nothing you can do about it. I suppose so. It's sort of like when I ask you to stop calling me Junior. <laughs> <laughs> you name me Carol, and that's what I'd like you to call me. How can I call you Carol when I've been calling you Junior all your life? I'll never remember. No, I'm still calling you Junior. <laughs> okay, Ma, but you're the only one. <laughs> Woodshed. Over the years, we've come into your house 
And lo and behold, within a few minutes, out through the woodshed door she goes, and factory comes with a loaf of homemade bread. <laughs> <laughs> or she comes with some famous rolls that cost Jason pops. Or maybe a quart of frozen baked uh, uh, beans. Baked beans, right. Or a nice apple pie. And we've always enjoyed those all these years. And I hope you can enjoy the fullness and the bountifulness of those uh, freezes in your woodshed from now on. <laughs>
which is where the confusion comes again between laws, in-laws, and outlaws. Because having spent all these years with you, I absolutely don't think of you or really anybody in the family as in-laws. I think of you as just family. And you're such a special family. And as the matriarch of this special family, it's my great privilege to lead everybody in a toast to you, Phyllis, on whatever birthday you say it is. <laughs> the one thing I've learned is I never argue with whatever you say it is.
say thank you for all the things you kids have done. And I don't know how to remember the exact words that I said. <laughs> They're inscribed right here. Well, we had to keep our time limited. <laughs> well, I'm just so happy to see everybody. It's so lovely of all of you to come. And the time I eat you. <laughs> Elton makes me an apron every day. No, that's after. That's after. That's after. <laughs> So I, I just am so happy to, to see everybody, because Esther fibbed to me all the morning. <laughs> Told me that none of the boys come today, that Junior had a lot of... I always call him Junior. <laughs> end of the year, uh, figuring to do so much, he couldn't come, and I said, well, what about Dave? He's right here in Barton, and he isn't coming. No, he has to take the girls someplace today. Take um, Crystal up for a, a lesson, a flying lesson. I said, well, he doesn't take her for flying lessons. She goes herself. She said, she said oh, well, I think he's taking her today. And I said, and what about Bradley? Well, they were awful busy with, with the children. They couldn't come. And Dean had to take the children to a soccer game or something, so they couldn't come. And I said, well, I'm really hurt <laughs> that the, the boys aren't coming. Nessa said, I'm plain mad. <laughs> and she, she said, I mean, she really acted mad. <laughs> I, I just not her. I, she said, we planned and planned this, and they knew about it ahead of time, and yet they didn't even plan to come. And when I came in the door, I, mean, I could look straight in here, and I, I could see Junior. <laughs> I could see him. I said, well, Junior came anyway. <laughs> I didn't see anybody else. I said, well, Junior did come. <laughs> So anyway, the rest of you guys never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're the favorite. You mentioned your name several times. <laughs> I always called him Junior, and I can't think of anything else. So I'm just you know that, huh? so <laughs> I'm just so happy so that, that everybody came and it hit so nice, even though I need him, don't want to be. <laughs> I'm just so glad to see everybody and thank you.